Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to tie uh, another foam hopper, uh, this is the triple decker um, and I'm going to show you the whole uh, the whole process from start to finish um, usually I prepare everything before, like if I'm tying half a dozen hoppers or ten hoppers or whatever I'll pre-cut all my foam, make all of my uh, bodies up, tie all my legs and have everything ready just to go but um, for the purposes of the video I'm, I'm going to show you the whole thing so first we need to make the extended body and to do that I just stick, take a, an ordinary sewing needle stick it in my vise and start some six sort thread. You can use whatever colour you like, it just depends on the colour of the hopper that you're tying. And if you leave this tag end a bit long and sort of pull it back to the f towards the what will be the head end of the body, um, it it will make things easier for you later. So I'm tying a sort of chartreuse belly. So I'm taking my chartreuse foam or my lime green foam. This is just 2mm and I've cut it at a width of about 5. Take a couple of wraps quite near quite near the end of the foam there. Right. And then just rotate it so that it's sitting in the bottom. Or the, the sitting in the underside of the needle. And then my middle layer is yellow, same same width, same thickness, and just catch it in as well. A couple of turns is enough to hold it. And then the top, I'm using a sort of tan, dunny brown. Again, a couple of turns is plenty, and then just sort of tighten down, take another couple of wraps, and that's your body started. Then pull the green straight down and back, and then take your thread between the layers of foam and the needle, and take it forward in a couple of open turns. Make sure you keep hold of this waste piece of thread, and then decide how big you want your segment to be. In this case, I'm making it about. 3mm. Just take one turn the thread straight across and then pull tight another two or three just to tighten it up. And then just repeat what you did before. Lift your thread up to this the crease, pull the, the bottom foam back and slip the thread through the gap. Two open turns to move it move the thread forward. Just make sure everything's sort of lined up. So roughly the same size. I mean, it's, it's you'll never get them dead exact, but try to get it nearly right, and then tighten up two, three, just to hold it. And then in this size, this is a tighten this in a size eight, um, two X long. So uh, for the extended body, I like three segments. It's a bit big. That's a wee bit small. You can just go back, just make sure you get it right. There we go. I don't mind if this one's slightly larger than the other two, because it's the fly would be starting to thicken up naturally anyway. One, two, three. Right. And at this stage I like to just run a bit of super glue onto the thread. And take another couple of wraps just to secure that. Don't worry if it spins on the needle. That's a good sign, it means it should come off the needle, no problem. A very quick two turn whip finish over that super glue and that's that's well enough locked in place. 
if you can just position it you can get the tag end between the layers of foam it doesn't really matter if you do this and I just cut them both long so that I've got something to bind down onto when I attach it to the hook layer so then just get your I like to just make sure I've got my thumbnail right against the needle so that I get the thread underneath as well and just push it off push it rather than pull it otherwise you will sort of unravel it from the inside out and then oops sorry just we dub a super glue at the back there and just sort of pinch it down and that's that uh, nice and secure so set that one aside to dry while the while I start the next fly so I'm starting the vise a TMC uh, 3761 it's actually a long shank. Uh, and it's a heavy wire but you're using all this foam so it's no problem I'm just running a bed of tying thread down and grab one of your ready made bodies so I like this third third um, segment to be just sort of in, in line with the barb right so I'll come back You can take a wrap over it if you really want to, right? If you're if you're not very confident with your foam or your grip, you can you can take a wrap over it to hold it, but you really don't need to. I like to sort of line that up with the barb, and then just make my next segment on top of the hook. And take it just, and don't worry about. You see there, I, I sort of misjudged the size of my segment, and but I just went back, you know, make sure you get it right, and then you can take a turn under like that to tighten up, and in front, so next, another segment. I like to make this segment a wee bit longer again. Like that. And two or three wraps. Again, lift the foam, tie back. That sort of tightens, tightens your thread up and gives it a better grip. Stops things slipping. And at this stage I like to add a, another piece of foam and this is going to be the well, that's a sighter I suppose I mean I've, I've heard people saying it's, it represents the rostrum but um, I don't know I don't know about that I think it's just a wee A wee sight need. It does kind of set off the dressing a bit. So, this is just, I'm just using orange. You could use it again, whatever colour you like. A couple of wraps. And that will just sit nicely on top. And just leave that where it is for the time being. Next is the back legs and I've tied two rubber legs together and trimmed the back end off uh, so it's just a single single strand at the back I like the knot on this hopper especially I like the legs to be really long so I like to leave the knot at the very back of the body and make sure you've got enough leg going forward so just a tunnel one tunnel hold it on my side
same in the offside. Right, and that's your sort of the main legs, and you can see there they sort of stand out in a kind of delta blitz shape. And then this tag end, this edge, you can just pull that, and it will sort of compress slightly. And then I bring it under. This is the, this is the thread that was in the extended body. I bring it under the foam and just wrap across it. Lift all the foam, pull everything back, and then just wind it down to the eye. Build up a nice wee base of thread here, um, because this is you're gonna be sticking onto this. Trim away that waste piece from the extended body. So next, I'm going to tie. The yellow and the green only, right? Got to tie them down. Pull them kind of tight and get a, a good wrap. Two or three wraps. Cut the wraps in front. And don't worry that they don't match up at the moment. The waist pieces, the double the double strands, just pull them forward over the yellow foam, hold them in place, just check that they're sitting the way you want, a couple of turns, and I'm going to come in with some super glue, just a wee spot across the back of the yellow foam. And then I've got this um, pre, another single strand of rubber, pre knotted, two knots, so that both both uh, knotted sections are pointing down. And then I just position that over the yellow foam onto the super glue. So the legs are sort of angled down. You can angle them down and back, as I've done here. You can angle them down, sort of straight down or down in the front. That's entirely up to you. It doesn't make any difference. I always just sort of have them going slightly back. And then I'll come in with a bit more super glue and smear it onto the tan. And I'll just push that down. Take a turn the thread over it. That's nicely locked in place. And it's also there we go. The legs are also still sitting fine, that's good. Um at this stage you want to come in again with some more super glue. Right. What I like is um I'll do the brown first. Put the super glue on the brown, push it down onto the yellow. Right? Or whatever your middle colour is. And then I'll lift that up again using the long tab of the yellow. And uh, put the glue in the green. And just stick it down. Right, the head looks a wee bit kind of ugly at the moment, but I'll be trimming it back. Then, put the wee orange cover over. If you want it, you could put a bit of glue underneath here, but you don't need it at all. And just trim that close. Last thing is, I, lift, I like to lift the thread. The last piece of tying. I uh, lift the foam, cut the wraps in front, and then whip finish on the hook. I always feel that it's a it's a more secure finish if you whip finish on the hook rather than over the foam. 
right? Which has two whips. That's two. That's plenty. Because I'm going to slather it with glue. And then I'll trim the head. I'm too fussed about the shape of it. As long as there's a sort of a wee head section sticking off there. And then with these um these two here just separate them. Trim one away. And then just line them up in front. Trim them so they're not too long. some eyes on it I just sort of put a wee band up the they've got quite long eyes grasshoppers that sort of cover the front of their face almost the front corner I just something like that's fine um, that is quite a prominent feature on the actual insect so it's you know it doesn't do any harm to stick them in and that's that's basically the tying done. Just to I mean to make sure everything's nice and secure, I like to just come along the belly with a bit of super glue on the thread. Right, just the thread wraps only. And then to make the body a bit more durable. I'll just get some head cement. I just, I just sort of slather it over it at first, so that the thread all gets plenty of it. And you don't need to worry about being poking in with a needle and being on nice and neat with this. And then just wipe it off the foam with your fingers. And the head cement actually, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Maybe. The head cement actually sort of um, just gets is left in the grooves on the thread wraps, and it really it, it makes quite a difference to the the lifespan of your fly. So um, there you have it. There's a triple decker hopper. Uh, it's another pretty effective foam hopper. Plenty of action in those legs. Nice long legs. Um, good for trout, bass, panfish, anything really. Carp will eat it. Uh, carp quite like this actually. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, um, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more HD Flight and videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.